I would urge whoever participates in this, panelists included, to take as little time as possible. Uh, I will leave my remarks for the end when I will have to try and take, stitch something together on the basis of what the views expressed here. But let me therefore begin by simply posing uh, three sets of questions. The first question that we ought to address in this meeting is about this particular session of the IGF itself. As you know, the IGF, in the terms of its format and modalities, has evolved. And this third IGF had actually in a format which was significantly different from the past. Uh, it, was part cha it was changed to a very large extent in order to give people a greater sense of engagement and involvement. So I would certainly wish to get your assessments of the format, whether you felt that the changes in the format had secured greater engagement and involvement by all of the people present here. The second thing is part of the same uh, complex about a review of the IGF that I would mention is that I certainly feel that uh, at the third IGF we have reached a point at which we cannot just focus on process. We also have to ask ourselves what do we take away from this. And I would like you to address that question as to whether the structure and the format we have does allow you to get something out of the meeting which you can take away and change the way in which you operate as a user of the internet, as a service provider, as a manager of the internet. Uh, again related to this, the idea of the IG is not to secure agreement amongst all parties. It is not, that's not the intention. This is not a negotiating forum. And it is very much a forum where we have to l listen to each other in a spirit of uh, honest debate, of a, a sincere dialogue. I would certainly love, wish to hear from people here as to whether anybody here is going to go away with his or her views modified in some way by what he or she has heard here. So this is one complex, the review of the IGF as it has evolved, any reflections that you have which you can take into account for future meetings. This brings me to the second question that I would pose, Whatever, what suggestions you may have for the Egypt meeting, which the multi-stakeholder advisory group would take on uh, board. There will, of course, be other occasions when you do this, uh, because we will have the consultations on the agenda for the Egypt meeting later. But I know there are many people here who will not be able to be part participate fully in those other discussions which will help presumably in Geneva. So any reflections you have on that would be valuable. Uh, finally, uh, one of the things, as was mentioned by, right at the beginning of this meeting by the uh, uh, UNDESA Assistant Secretary General, one of the things that we need to do over 2009 is to do a review of the IGF so that the member states can take a view on its continuation beyond the five years, uh, what we call the review uh, uh, process. Uh, this will, of course, be discussed extensively in February when the uh, when we have open consultations for two days in Geneva, followed by a meeting of the multi-stakeholder advisory group. And much of the discussions will take place there. But I'm sure people here may have reflections, thoughts on this, and I'm sure and we would uh, definitely wish to hear them so that again things can be taken on board and into account when we meet in February. These are the three sets of questions I would pose. To summarize, this IGF, the next IGF, the future of the IGF. I'm going to ask the panelists to give quick comments on these topics in the beginning and then open the floor and then let's get from that point onwards. We, we have uh, a panel here and uh, I, if any order. Uh, why don't I start from my left and proceed in this direction. So the first is Mr. George Papadopoulos. 